like Alexis. So they don't want to leave on so the whole thing. It's very beautiful. There is incredible potential. Uh, oh. As long as you know you both are coming to the table, we have more than one of this particular type. I'm sure I have some more somewhere. Because I broke this. I have. Where is it? I don't know. But I shouldn't be playing with things that's just needed, should I? But you can see the indication. I always look out for the purple spots. And look for little breaks and exposure. And try and get to it. Can you see the poker spots? I like to call them the poker spots, you see. You see? Because these are actually, they're actually diamond itself. It's just being weathered and colored by the surrounding. And between them is the layup of dirt or sun or whatever she decided to use to make the blanket to cover her skin. So if you move that, you will end up with a more cleaner space and with this bit here that poke through normally you just need to sand them off because it's the diamond itself okay the weight as well very heavy and as you can see as i say sometimes the weight will differ because you don't know what the inside is like hollow yes but what how big is the hollow inside so sometimes you're not always gonna feel it and you wouldn't know this holiday unless you clean out the dirt so it's good to just take things up look at that it's absolutely brilliant yes. um i wouldn't try to cut those diamond crystals i would just simply take them out and put them all over our wedding dress you see individually just take them down and just stick them out <laughs> cut them off and stick them on I just want to see a wedding dress with all these glitter if you could take this and make a dress and just show it to me I think that will just make me happy I just that would make me happy possibly red and with all these gems around the color around the top I do like fashion and when I come across things like this I hate to even touch it because I can see so much fashion potential in this particular item it would be bad and sad to get into the right hands because there's a lot even this piece here you could cut this piece out and polish him up but just leave the edge of those prickly that would make an absolutely dynamic necklace just sitting and like something so when the sunlight hit it it's just like a quarry look at that it's, she will not hide her beauty this one is just one to show her beauty she's a face girl you see look mm -mm. This is one of the second specimen. There's a carbonate, carbonated diamond which I have, would have the same thing as well. It's quite phenomenal. So I put it away aside, you see, just in case if I decide to go back into cutting gems. Did I just say go back into cutting gems? I mean, start cutting gems. It do feels like I do this before sometime. Anyway. It's beautiful. Quality? Just look at it back. Look at you, bad, bad, bad kitty. Oh dear. Very rude. You know why? I, I just don't know. I can't stop looking at it. It's doing something to me. This is what I always want to see in a way. Yes, I think of it. I even dream of it. Every time I see it, I just think. Look at that. Wow. 
Just like a star. It's like looking at the, the galaxy. Let's look into the the black hole. See what's down there. Ooh. Billions of stars. Can you see? It's like looking into space. I wonder why we do call these things stars of the heart. Into line with the stars. That's the sky. They are stars. A bit of light and they go absolutely mad and crazy. Just like the stars of the sky. A bit of light from the sun and there they go. They just keep sparkling. It's almost like it takes the light like an eat and it just dance with it. Look. Wow. This is just beautiful. I'm sorry, but I like toys. To me it means nothing. It's just I the sparkles. Oh dear, I couldn't wear something from this. I'd want someone else to wear it so I can look at it. I can't look at it on my neck. I can't look down, you see. <laughs> <coughs> it is easy to see it on someone else. Ladies and gentlemen, I was going to do some more work tonight, but I think it's going to come second unto this baby. Jesus. I want to have this clean up, but have it sit somewhere where it spins. Ooh, baby. Forgive me. The blinky blinkies. The sparkles. Oh, you can feel them. Oh, it's feel different. Yeah. Wow. This is crazy. This is why I like to use a bit of dark at night and then add the light to it. You can let it get it crazy. So now you can see for yourself. Close, closer, closer. And you can see the diamond and where it starts. The carrots bit, which is quite muckled. Muckled, baby. Look at that. You don't know what size clear ones are in there. It's like little small acamia in farm. And if you look inside, it could be all size in there. Or it could be like, as you see, it's come right through the other side. So possibly it cut. And you have like a round piece with just all of these sitting on top. Some big, some small. This will I'll take a specialist to cut this. See, we don't damage the content inside. Look at that. Why are you so rude? I'd love to take this piece off so I can, like all the way to here. You can just expose it because the problem is I've noticed they come through the back as well so I'm judging it might be the whole thing you better just tap it with a hammer and it will just break where it wants to break where the fin bit is because it's somewhere around this side and it comes here as well so it might just be this piece here as well have some of that on the inside judging by look this piece being break off where it's coming up because if you notice that time it's got like a triangle shape and it's been break here before as you can see and a fresher break here this is it comes up like that <coughs> and piece which I break off here what I do that for I don't know where it is now but look at that I'm guessing the piece I break off here would have probably have a lot more shiny. That's why I probably tap it off. It's the hammer when it's quite muddy and I can't see. 
Beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you very much for watching. It's quite mesmerizing to me.